It's Lynn Forsyth and I just wanted to thank you for stopping by to check out my latest video using art foamings. Um, the creation that I'm going to show you today is something that I did to as part of my design team submission. And in doing this, I wanted to see how art foamies, art foamies would um, hold up using various mediums and various papers and fabrics. So you will see here that I pulled out a whole bunch of stuff. I have some flute, tissue stock, printed cardstock, canvas, burlap, vintage papers, including dictionary paper and music paper. You can see I'm just brayering the paint onto the music paper, which you'll see what I do with that later. So as I said, I began with high impact paint and the mesh art foamies stamp and I just brayered on all of high impact paint and I went through them all. As you can see the flute here, it's like cardboard. So it's got all these little peaks and valleys. So of course, when you stamp on it, you only get a little bit, but it's still cool. It even works fabulously. The art foamies work fabulously on burlap. Did you see that? So now I'm gonna move on and repeat the whole process all over again The art foamy that I'm using is Circle Salad, and I'm using Copper High Impact Paint this time, and once again, just randomly layering on the colors. I do find that I prefer to brayer on the paint onto my art foamies, and I get a better image than if I dab it into the paint. So, like I said, I just continued the process over all of those pieces of paper that you previously saw, just sometime with partial images, full images, the whole nine yards. Basically, what I want to do is layer color upon color upon color to, re to create a collaged background. Here you'll see that I'm using Ranger's Emboss It Dabber um, onto the writer's block art foamy stamp and I pulled out a um, tub of Seth Apter's Baked Texture Ancient Amber because I wanted to see how the art foamies would hold up to embossing and can I tell you it was awesome so I'm just randomly stamping once again and I did keep the embossing only onto paper items I didn't try to heat and boss on any of the fabrics because I just felt that would be a nightmare. So you can see I'm just continuing to add the emboss it ink onto the writer's block art foamy. And after I get this whole process done, I heat set it and it looked fabulous. Okay, so the next thing I did was I also used um, a art foamy stamp called Triangle Square, um, which is one of my favorites also. Actually, I think all the art foamies are my favorites. But once again, I'm using some black high impact paint and randomly stamping all over everything. Then I went to some white high impact paint. And as I said, it's just layer upon layer upon layer of paint to create this yummy, colorful background that I'm gonna use as part of my junk journal. Once again, repeating the white and high impact paint. I'm sorry if I'm boring you, but I did want you to see all the different various things I did. Yeah, I got a little excited right there. Hum, I do that. But it's all good and the art foamies worked fabulously on every single thing that I threw at them. So now I wanted to make sure that all of my paints were dry so that I could start to put my junk journal together. Canvas, cardboard, music paper, printed papers, flute, dictionary paper, 
Oh, all the love. So now you get to watch my process in putting the pages together. My junk journal is approximately four inches by six inches. As most of the things that I used were six inches wide, some of them 12, some of them others. But the bottom line to this whole process is, is to enjoy the process. Just layering on colors and papers, using your art foamies in various mediums to just make your heart happy creating. So I'm just gonna let you watch this whole process of me trying to figure out what's gonna be best on all of the pages. Not only did I create the pages, but I also collaged on them using pieces parts from all of the various peepers that I had created with stamping with my art foamies. Now, this is where I pulled out my art foamy st stamp set called Bird Festival. And here you'll see that I wanted to try and see what it would be like to stamp using modeling paste. Now I am going to warn you and you'll see, I spritz them with water because I don't want that modeling paste drying on my art foamy. So I spritz them with water and kind of set them aside so that it doesn't dry until I can find the time to go back and clean them. Cause I just don't want to stop my creative juices that are flowing. So I painted over a little bit of glaze on there. Um, and as you see, I'm just creating little pieces parts that are all going to be a part of my art foamy junk journal. Now see, I'm using a little paint, a little toothbrush right there to get down into the nooks and crannies. And I'm doing it very gently because I don't want to ruin my art foamy. So I spritzed it with the water and used my toothbrush, soft toothbrush, to clean it out. Once again, stamping with more of my modeling paste. As you can see, I obviously liked the look of that. It not only stamped really nice, but it gave it a little bit of added extra texture, which I just love. So once again, using various mediums on various sheets of paper, to create pieces, parts, to put my journal all together.
So once I had all my pieces, parts that I wanted to use as part of my junk journal, the birds, the mushrooms, the birdhouse from the Bird Festival Art Foamy set, I put my junk journal together. I did choose to add a couple stamped images with some really cool verb verbiage from Impression Obsession. I do hope that you've enjoyed my exploration through Art Foamies. Make sure to comment and subscribe to the channel. Look forward to seeing you again. For now, ladies, ta-ta, and have a creative day.